Hello everyone, I'm Joshua. And I'm Abe. And I'm Amanda. I'm Jay. And I'm Josh too. Hello everyone, Joshua Myers here. And welcome back to my 25 Days of Christmas review series. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Illumination Pictures adaptation of Dr. Seuss's The Grinch from 2018. Santa had eight. He looks like he ate the other seven. Merry Christmas to you! Let's steal Christmas. Go team! The Grinch. The Grinch stars Benedict Cumberbatch, Pharrell Williams, Kenan Thompson, and it's directed by Yaro Chini. The plot of The Grinch is that the Grinch, who hated Christmas to a T, hatches a scheme to ruin Christmas when the residents of Whoville plan their annual holiday celebration. What are my positives with this film? Honestly, for me, one of the things I do like about it is the animation for the most part. I will say, it, visually, as far as, you know, having the Christmas aesthetic, it does a lot better job with that than the Jim Carrey one. Actually, this feels much more like it has a Christmas, like, understands the Christmas aesthetic more than uh, the Jim Carrey one, where the Jim Carrey one, the colors were all muted, it just, you know, looked like they rubbed Vaseline all over the camera and that, and just, it just didn't look pleasant. Like, it just didn't look pleasant, pleasant in that. Also, I felt like there wasn't enough colors in general, like, even with the lights and that, like, the Christmas lights. This one at least captured that pretty well. There's a lot of bright colors, you know, with the animation that they were able to do, you know, even down to the snow and everything. Like, it looked a lot more like, you know, Christmas to me than the 2000, like, the 2000 movie. Also, this movie does have some slight chuckles here and there as far as humor is concerned. The voice acting is actually not bad. Actually, it's okay. Passable. Also, the pacing is not bad. And also, I will say, without giving anything away with the ending, because they do something different near the, like, very last minute and or so, that honestly, compared to everything else, I think they handled really well, actually. It's new. It's different. And it's actually kind of charming. Oh, and another thing I did like about it is when he actually gets to stealing Christmas, it's, like, I really did dug all the gadgets that he uses to steal Christmas and that, and the pacing in that makes it actually pretty fun in that moment. What are my negatives with The Grinch? Honestly, for me, a lot of it has to do with execution. It's the same thing, same problem I had with the Jim Carrey version. Like, for one, Benedict Cumberbatch as the Grinch, I think, could have been awesome, actually. Especially if he was doing the Boris Karloff impression. Uh, but he didn't do that. He did tried his American, like, American accent, you know, and it just didn't work. And sometimes it's not even consistent. Hell, there's even times where he sounds like Jim Carrey's Grinch. Like, this whole Christmas season is... You know, like, sometimes he would sound like that. It's like, it, it's almost like he forgot what kind of voice he was doing with every single take he did. So I felt like that was a really big missed opportunity to actually have, you know, like, Benedict Cumberbatch doing a Boris Kolarov version of The Grinch. Also, there's other stuff, too. Like, they added some new stuff. Like, they threw in new characters that I felt like were completely pointless, like... You know, they threw in this reindeer uh, named Fred, and that he was completely and utterly pointless, in my personal opinion. Also, they gave Cindy Lou Who some friends in that, and they were just forgettable. Pretty pointless, too. They had no purpose in the story whatsoever. They didn't, you know, like, they didn't do anything with her character or anything. Also, there's some stuff they added to the character of the Grinch I didn't really care for. Like, for example, uh, in this version, he treats animals like really well actually like especially his dog max who he treats him like as a member of the family almost it's like it's almost like they're a married couple really it's like and that's not the grinch 
in the original animated one, the Grinch was, you know, he was cruel to animals. It was almost down to animal cruelty, really. And if you remember in the original, when he ha had Max basically, you know, become, you know, one of his reindeers so that he could steal Christmas, it's more of a punishment, really, in that. And you kind of feel sorry for Max in that regard. But in this version, it's like a great honor in that. It's like, they build it up like that, and, you know, he's all happy about it, and that. It just doesn't work. And yet again, they do another thing where they try to give the Grinch an origin story for why he hates Christmas and everything. Uh, I will give the Jim Carrey one credit. At least they do explain that a lot better. It's needless and stupid, but at least I was able to fall through with it and understand it. And understand why he hates Christmas and everything. In this version, not so much. They tried to explain, a, you know, they tried to go, like, kind of do a combination of explaining a lot, but, yeah, keeping it vague at the same time. So, we're kind of getting a bit too much information, but at the same time, not enough. And it's just really confusing, actually. Like, even with the narration, you know, that's given throughout this, as far as, you know, the backstory and that goes, it even kind of contradicts the narration at times. And also, let's talk about the narration, uh, because the narration this time around is uh, done by Farrell Williams, and I think he was not a good pick for it. If Benedict Cumberbatch was doing the Boris Karloff stuff, he would have been also great at doing the narration, too. Because I think it was Boris Karloff who did the narration for uh, the original animated one. Also, they changed up certain characters like Cindy Lou Who, who went from being this cute little innocent girl and that, that, you know, eventually tried to, like, that eventually got to the Grinch's, like, cold heart and that, in the original. Now she's just, you know, energetic, tomboy type of, you know, spunky girl and that. It's like, it doesn't work. Like, again, with the Jim Carrey one, at least it got down Cindy Lou's character a lot better, you know, closer to the book. I mean, she was dumb in that one, but at least they understood the character. Also, there's certain stuff here, like, you know, when we do get some of the classical music cues, like, when we get to the, you know, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch, it's not like that. They tried to do it as a rap. Also, they throw in, like, the Grinch twerking in this, which, to be fair, if twerking was a thing back in the early 2000s, it would have been in the other one. Also, another thing I didn't like about it, again, like, like I said before, my likes, that I did like when they started to get him to steal Christmas and that. But, you know, still, it's like, I can't get emotionally invested in that because the motivations and everything behind it is so half-assed that I really couldn't, you know, get really sucked into also, for the most part, I didn't like was the humor. The humor wasn't... It was just nothing. Like, the most they got at me was some awkward laughs here and there, like chuckles, and that's it. And knowing that, they they made everybody not stand out as far as animation goes, as far as movement and that. Like, for example, you got the Grinch here who is this, like, energetic, you know, kind of tool, really, and it's like... That's not the Grinch. In fact, if you look back at the original animation, you could clearly tell, you know, like, even without sound, what the characters are like just based on their movements. And this, if you were to, pop, like, you know, play this movie on mute, you wouldn't be able to, you know, you wouldn't be able to tell these characters apart because they all move the same in that. And they also do another thing with this, which isn't a really spoiler, because they did in the 20, like, they did in the Jim Carrey one, too. Where basically once after the Grinch steals Christmas and that, the Who's are like, what happened and everything. And that trying to figure out, like, what happened and that they're upset because Christmas was st stolen from them. But then somebody had to point out that, you know... All he just did, like, all what really happened was that stuff was taken and that, you know, Christmas comes from here and that. It's like, they keep on, with each adaptation after the original anime one, they keep on trying to spoon feed us what the line of dialogue from the original, like, a little bit more means. 
you know, like maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more. You know, it's like they tried to spoon feed us what that means. Like both the two theatrical film versions and yeah, it just doesn't work. So with that said, I'm going to give The Grinch from 2018 a free out of five stars. Honestly, for me, I think, you know, it's just mainly forgettable. There's a lot of issues I have with it. But I think this is a movie you could pop on and just, you know, while doing something else, just background, you know, <coughs> just something to watch while in the background and that. So, uh, the animation is really nice and that. And I think it does get the Christmas aesthetic better. There are some slight chuckles here and there throughout. But other than that, there's a lot of issues I had with this movie. But at the same time, is it the worst thing I've ever seen? No, it's definitely not. It's not like the worst... It's definitely not the worst uh, Christmas movie or anything like that I've seen. It's watchable, uh, depending on how much you love the original animated one. Which I do. I love the original animated one a lot. Especially after rewatching it. And if you do, if you're a fan of the original animated one like I am, then please, just stay away from this one. But if you don't mind some of these changes and that, then, you know, it'll do you fine. I don't think for the most part there's anything really offensive in this movie for kids or whatever, so kids could watch this just fine. But for me, if I had kids in that, I would much rather have them watch the original animated one over the Jim Carrey one or this any day. So that's it for this review. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.